Hey everyone, it's your girl Miss Do It All here with another daily DIY. Come on, let's get started. All right, hey guys, it's so good to be back. I know it's been a minute just dealing with everything in the chaos of the pandemic. Being a homeschool mom and uh, newfound business owner and YouTube influencer has not been the easiest thing. So with that being said, let's move along. Today I have this fun, quick, easy craft for us to do. Um, we're gonna make some musical motion activated ornaments. So Today I'm working in silhouette. This is my first time working in silhouette with you guys. Um, so here goes nothing. I'm very new to silhouette. I've learned. I started off with Cricut. Cricut Design Space crashes often. So it urged me to go get a silhouette. And here we are. So from the top, pull up silhouette. Come over to file, go to merge, press OK, file, that's just how you're going to get the templates and the images. I'm going to just go ahead and get them all at one time so I don't have to go back and do this. I like the pull it off to the side while I'm working with it. When I'm done and I'm ready to print and cut, then I pull it over to the white area. So first I wanna go ahead and duplicate it so we don't have to do that later. Size it down so it's not taking so, so much space. Gonna go ahead and just size the templates. The star is gonna be 3.9 by 3.9. And the circle is gonna be 3.9. Hi, 3.7. What works best for me is go ahead and take an image and making it relatively the same size as the template. And then you want to highlight both of them together, go over to modify, and then crop it. And then you want to do the same thing for the star. Now the star actually, you could just eyeball it. You could actually eyeball the circle. I just like to do it that way. Highlight both of them and then crop. And now you see it doesn't exactly fit perfectly. So I'm gonna show you a little trick how to help size your image inside your star. Cause the star can be tricky depending on, you know, how many people are in it. So you wanna go over here to the paintbrush palette. So you do wanna go to pattern, don't listen to me. <laughs> and then um, go down to advanced options and then scale. And then the scale, move it up or down. We're gonna move it down so we can scale it to fit. And then, depending on what you wanna use it for, just for, you know, knowledge purposes, if you wanted to make more images, you just scale it down. The smaller you scale it, the more images it makes of that image, which is a pretty cool trick if that's something you're interested in doing. 
from there. I just want to make it fit into the star nicely. Which I think. Right about there should be good. And then that's that really as far as design goes. And next thing to do is to print it. So you want to go to send. Right here. Yeah. Go to cut because that's what you want to do. You can use just about any paper you want. Um, I'm going to use brochure paper. I like the way it comes out the best with that. I don't know why. I felt like there was a difference between that and photo paper. You want to highlight the image and then put it on cut to make sure it just cut out and it's going to highlight what it's going to cut out and that's all we need. Like I said, I'm going to use brochure paper, but they didn't have that as an option, so I made my option. You know, you can put add new material, type, and then it gives you the cut settings and stuff that you want to use. I actually want to upgrade my force. Save that. Because I did cut it once and it didn't cut quite hard enough. So this is me experimenting live. Hopefully that's the force it needs to get it all the way through. Alright, so with that all set up, what we need to do first is print it right here the paper this is important when you're doing print to cut and this is a good thing <laughs> you want to show your registration marks you have to you don't even want to you literally have to show your registration marks and I didn't so we must print it again Now that we have our registration marks on, go to file, print, and print, and print again. So what you want to do next is just let it dry for a while. You don't want to go put it straight into cutting because it will smear and smudge your image. So uh, you could give it 15 minutes, you know whatever feels best for you but that should be good about 15 minutes later make sure it's you know dry and with that being said I have my thickness um that may have helped because I had some registration mark issues at first and I tried um a lot of different things and researched a lot of different things and found out a lot of different reasons why you may have registration issues and things to do to help you because I read a lot about printing cutting with silhouette and how it could be difficult so if anyone's been having those issues with their registration marks being read I have a couple of tips that may help I hope I could help because I didn't turn the thickness up. See, that could be one of them. Turning the thickness up in your registration lines. So if this has a hard time cutting, this is the first time I've tried to make a cut without altering the um, registration line. So if that just so happens to be, if I don't get a good cut, that may just so happen to be the issue. So now I definitely can't wait. So we're just going to go ahead and readjust the camera to angle onto the cameo I know another additional issue that I read could be an issue with um, 
reading your registration marks and then needing lighting. And I've heard people say they haven't had any issues with it. Well, I did at first, or I felt it necessary to um, put a light over my silhouette where they read the registration marks, which is right around the um, number one tool. So you just wanna start by putting your paper on your mat. I like use my release tab, feed it in a little, put your tab back up to lock it into place. And you go to send. And send. And hopefully it'll read my registration marks. And even if it does, I'm gonna do it again and show you. I don't believe it is. So, yep. With the marks being not thick like before, I kind of anticipated. So here I'm gonna show you how to manually get your registration marks to read. Hopefully, I'm gonna show you. Use these arrows. You want to get the the tool one over the black square. Once you've gotten it there, you want to press register. And there we go. I'm so happy it worked. Wait, fingers crossed. finish just want to release it and like I said this is my first project using my mat so it's extremely extremely tacky so it's not any oh yeah so my pressure works much better moving the force up did help and on top of that when I'm mat being so sticky it does tend to curl up the image and you know I have sat it under something for you know to straighten it out but it's not a hundred percent necessary whatsoever now that we're done with all the technicalities we're just going to get to the basics and this is the ornament that we will be using to place the image inside of these are from Dollar Tree so first you want to start by removing the screws simply enough And the other screw, you want to lift the hook for the make sure you don't lose those. Then just like that, top comes off, keep the hook. And then these simply pop right off. Just like that. Take it. Discard it. Keep it. Maybe useful for another craft. These are cute. And simply just place the image. I didn't flatten this one, so it's going to pop up a little. I like to just, you know, fill around the, this is the motion sensor right there. <laughs> Popped it. Popped it on, all right. Popped it right off. And that would be... Where this bad boy comes or starts to go. Just 
pop it right back in place. Just a quick revision as far as the hook goes. You just want to go ahead and put it in here before you put the case back on. And then, then it'll be all in place. I don't think I indicated that. Great for storing when it's time to store it. I honestly love this whole situation here. All right, and that's it. Yeah. Perfect. And just want to take the screws, put them back in place. You are going to need a very small head screwdriver, one that could fit into this very small space. And you just Motion activated musical ornament is complete. And we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. I just want to thank you all so much for coming, watching my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing. If you haven't yet, please do. And I just want to wish health and happiness all over everybody, especially during these times, during the holiday season. Until next time, be well.